Hi guys. All right. Um, are people being hit with frequencies? Subscribers that I've had for a while. I don't get it. I respected you, but you just proved yourself to be a shill. Shaking my head. I'm out. Yep. Read what I posted on that Satan Claus Moscow bank commercial she posted. Russia and probably China are coming or something else, but something is coming to North America. Um, let's see. The little girl is pointing to North America in the picture drawing. Why did you really post this? This is the video that I posted. Uh, at the tail end, it says something about Bank of Moscow. If people think that I posted this because I like the Bank of Moscow or that I'm a Russian agent and didn't post it because of the message right smack in that short five minute video of a very wealthy woman who cares nothing for her child and she's all about herself well, we have an awful lot of parents like that. And it has nothing to do with money. I have known, I have had friends who grew up with great wealth. And their parents were absolutely horrible. So it doesn't matter if you grow up with money or if you don't grow up with money. If you grow up with shitty uncaring, unloving parents, you then become an adult with an awful lot of issues. So that's why I posted this video. And yes, it goes through how this woman is the mother. Uh, the child is writing a letter to Santa Claus and all she wants is her mommy. And Santa Claus gets that uh, letter and then takes the mother on a journey of real hardship, real hardship, and then shows the woman the letter that he got from her daughter. Oh, and she breaks down and cries. It's heartbreaking. But lesson learned. Lesson learned. So to this subscriber who has been with me for a while he sees this child pointing to North America and he wants to know why I really posted this what the hell is wrong with people I'm sorry what the hell is wrong with people well I don't I can't see her pointing towards North America and at the tail end, you know, she breaks down, she cries, and then she is doing things with her daughter. That's why I posted them. Now, anybody who knows me would understand why I posted this. And anybody who has been a subscriber for a while would understand why I am posting this. Now, why am I a little upset about this? Because it's not just these two leaving a comment like this. I get shitty comments all the time. Here, again, please explain why you really posted that Moscow bank ad. Why is the little girl pointing to North America in her picture and drawing? I dare you to say that it isn't North America. Oh my God, you're a Russian agent, aren't you? That might be a stretch, but not that being North America. Okay, Alice, 38, 11, uh, plus 189, and 30, and 3. Just coincidental, right? You know what? Wow, okay. Um, but I also got another here. You are such, such a shill. Giving legitimacy to these fucking hoaxes. What hoax? This was in the California video that I just posted the another emergency alert 
Uh, there you go. Perfect example of controlled opposition and disinformation. Tell a little truth mixed in with lies. I see through you. Good, Brian. Good. You see nothing. You see what you have conjured up in your own head because you have not done any work to work out your thinking, your messed up thinking. <sighs> yeah. This is the awake crowd. This is the awake crowd. Please explain to me how I am a shell based on this video. I... <laughs> There's a lot I could say. There's a whole lot I could say. You know, it's the quote-unquote awake crowd that beats me down more than the sleeping sheeple. Because you kind of would expect, you know, the quote-unquote awake crowd, and I'm not talking about all. Clearly, I have an awful lot of uh, subscribers who are on a different level than other subscribers, different level of consciousness. Um, and I do understand that people are paid to leave these comments and, you know, they're, they're, they're so on the side of evil. You know, when you think about, okay, there's a war going on. It is a spiritual war, uh, and it is good versus evil. But those who are leaving these shit-ass comments are part of the evil. And, and the good who do nothing, sorry, you're on the evil side. Because all it takes, all it takes for evil to flourish is for an awful lot of good people to sit around and do nothing. <laughs> and boy, do you contribute nicely. You contribute to the nightmare that we live. Think about what you're writing, guys. Always think about what you're writing. But, you know, I'm not talking to the majority of my subscribers who leave wonderful comments Comments filled with information that educates people. Comments that are supportive and loving and caring. But then you get these people who... You begin to... And also, if you, you don't post videos, then you don't realize how many comments you get from, you know, this crowd of... <laughs> they consider themselves awake. Um, but when you see this over and over and over again, you realize what we're up against. You realize that these people destroy trust. They have no clue what they're saying. That they, what? I don't even know how it is I'm a shill from that video that I posted in another emergency alert. Um, and how it is that I could be a Russian agent because I posted that video. Um, and clearly, she's pointing to North America. Okay. Uh, <laughs> when you get to see the awake crowd, when you've met a lot, when you've uh, posted and get these comments, you get to see what we're up against. Forget about the sleeping sheeple that, yes, we absolutely need to wake up. But we don't even have a healthy, awake crowd. They just lash out at any little thing. You're a shill, you're a disinformation agent, you're this, you're that. And they don't understand that they are absolutely 
helping. You're a useful idiot. Yeah. Yeah, you get really tired. You get really tired.